Welcome in to another edition of the Leadership Library, hosted by CEO and author Rocky Romanella. Rocky is the author of the book, Tighten the Lug Nuts, The Principles of Balanced Leadership, and has over 40 years of business experience as a prominent member of the UPS Supply Chain Solutions team, as well as the CEO of Unitech Global Services. So sit back, grab your notebook, and take a seat, and get ready for this edition of the Leadership Library. Welcome to the Leadership Library podcast. I'm your host, Rocky Romanell. As you know, we have been uh, doing a six-part series on the end of the year review, the state of the business, the state of our people. So far, we've uh, we've talked about five of them. Number one was, did you start right, stay right? Number two is, did you personally approve a good plan? Three was, did you communicate the plan? Four was, did you organize your resources, which we've talked about, talks a lot about commitment. Five was, did we all work the plan, which talks about accountability. Number six, and the final one in this series is, did you know, the process of monitoring and adjusting. You know, are we using all the available ports, reports and measures to ensure plan adherence? Did we set out, a lot of times we'll talk about as KPI, key performance in the indexes or indices. But at the end of the day, what was our vision of what we were trying to accomplish and what were those milestones along the way? Do we use available shared resources to assist? So, for example, if there's information from a turnover perspective, are we using our resources in our human resources department to help us understand those reports and maybe pull those reports for us? Do we have a strategic plan for remediation? Look, when you're building a plan, you always look at things from its widest consequences. So what are the potential things that could go wrong? And do you have a, a plan to do that? I think that's uh, I think that's so important. You know, monitor and adjust, you know, you know, I think I may have told uh, told you along the way in, in some of the podcasts or some of the some of the uh, other uh, talks I've had along the way that you know I originally went to school to be a high school history teacher and a baseball coach, and you know during my time at UPS I was part time unloading trailers and had the opportunity to work my way through college and change my major uh, from teaching to business, but I never gave up my teaching passion because I just felt like in business it was just a different venue. Why do I tell you this? Because the big difference between communication and education is accountability. So in number three, we say we talk about the plan, but number six is the accountability. And what's accountability in teaching? The test. If you think about it for a second, when you're in a history class and you're teaching the students about George Washington, for example, you may give them all these facts, you know, first president, you know, was from Virginia, you know, so on and so forth, you know, the first, you know, first general, whatever. But that's communication until what? Until you give them the test, that's education. Now, once they pass the test, they've been educated. Well, in business, in business, we communicate a lot of things. By the way, it's done at a very high professional level, right? You walk through any organization, you know, you'll have posters, you'll have stuff laid out on built, you know, built and boards all over the place. Well done. You get communications from the communication department. Well done, well articulated, professionally done. That's communication. Education is when someone talks to you about it, when someone asks you a question about it, when someone tests you on the information that was given by questions that they asked. Well, number six, monitor and adjust is that education piece. You, we communicated the plan. We've talked about the plan. You shook your head that you understood the plan. You committed to the plan, but now we're adjusting the plan and you're getting farther off plan. You're failing a test or you're passing a test with flying colors. So that's the education piece. That's where I have to take a step back as a leader and say, well, I communicated the plan, but I don't think I educated you on the plan because for whatever reason, you're failing these tests. So I think if all the students, one of the first, first uh, class I took in teaching, if all the students fail, the teacher didn't teach. That's how you have to look at it. If everyone in your organization is off plan, then maybe you didn't teach. Maybe the plan wasn't a good plan. But, but education really comes down to that testing process and, the, and understanding, do you really understand what we communicated? So it's communication until a test. Then it's education. So number six is monitor and adjust. So that would be your education piece. So just to wrap up on our six-part uh, six series, on the end of a year review and your beginning process for the next year review, because they're both the same. One ends with all the results. One begins with the plan. 
Uh, did you start right and stay right? Did you personally approve a good plan? Did you communicate the plan? Did you organize your resources? Did we all work the plan? And finally, did we monitor and adjust? Did we pass the test? Thank you very much for listening. I hope you find these six episodes helpful in your year-end review and your planning process for the new year. Thank you, and thank you for being a part of the Leadership Library family. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of the Leadership Library, a bi-weekly podcast designed to help you find your leadership aha moment. To access Rocky Romanella for consulting, keynote speaking, or training your business, head to tightenthelugnuts.com. You can also head to tightenthelugnuts.com and click the link for Leadership Library to see this episode or every episode recorded by Rocky Romanella in the Leadership Library. And until next episode, remember, the speed of the leader determines the pace of the pack.